Hi guys, welcome to the stream. It's early morning in Brisbane and I hope where you are it's also pretty good time. Um, so welcome to the stream. Today we're going to continue a little bit on the uh, on the City Skylines um, um, playthrough, the, the How a Real City Starts component. Uh, but yes, I'm only going to do about 45 minutes of this and then we're going to switch over to Airport CEO. So please um, stay tuned for that. Okay, let's uh, quickly see how we're going to uh, go ahead with this. So what we've done in the previous episode, we've started expanding along the, uh, the coastline over here coastline the river along the river and that's something that we'll continue to do a little bit of residential a little bit of commercial and so on so let's quickly um, let's continue to fill in this area with some residential because there seems to be a fair bit of demand for that okay I'd like to keep these blocks in nice shapes so that it doesn't get uh, too unwieldy uh, with funny shapes and things like that specifically something like this also we can do we can do nice uh, a lot of residential on on these little areas nice little uh, cul-de-sacs behind the commercial and so on that works quite well um, similarly I'm going to do the same thing over here uh, we don't want to this isn't going to be a kind of a commercial hub it's going to be more of a, a neighborhood with a little commercial center in the middle i've gone and procured the rest of this so that we can continue our expansion here and i do like this little hill for a for a fairly uh, easy expansion um, of a residential neighborhood um, something on the hill similarly on that side could be quite good um, yeah, and then there's some some winding roads and rolling hills over here, but there's also a pretty nice spot all the way out to the ocean and there's some nice beaches that we've got going on over there and some room for a bit of a port. We also have an interchange over here, which means that um, potentially some of our first higher density areas um, with with decent infrastructure could come straight off of this interchange. So we'll keep a lookout for that as we expand the city a little bit more. Okay, so let's let's quickly have a look. Okay, what we have here is we've got this uh, We've got the uh, the road here and I know some of you have been calling for around for roundabouts in here But I think it works. It doesn't work too bad now that it's been set up um, I've done a little bit of tweaking on the signals on this in between episodes and I think it works pretty well um, An alternate we also will be continuing our, our expansion of more decent infrastructure as you can see this bridge over here is getting a fair bit of attention okay so now there is a demand for a lot more commercial and I do wonder whether we should start going slightly more high density I think we have yeah we have included oh no we've included some office here uh, that oh that though could be could be a little bit bigger over there that's probably not going to work anyway I'm kind of wondering whether we add ourselves a little bit of high density along some of this maybe up on here somewhere so let's uh, let's remove some of that and we'll start bringing in some high density commercial to see what that kind of does for us on this main main line over here so we'll take all of that out and we'll put some high density clusters in there and we'll see what they come up with the other thing that we probably need to have a look at also is um is is the, the the specific kind of areas commercial areas that we can do so if we look at this oh and we did start doing that over here right we have in uh, in the nelson valley over here we have um this this local organic and local produce section pretty good pretty good but we could also do so here we have the IT cluster, which is, I think it's a little early for stuff like that, but we could do tourism specialization or leisure specialization. So especially along the riverfront, um, for instance, any commercial somewhere like that could be pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, so the nature reserve. Where is the nature reserve running? Let's just have a quick look at that. Um, park areas, yeah, so the park area is fine right over there so maybe what we do is we we bring a little bit of a leisure specialization over here next to the river so i'm kind of tempted to do that so let's grab a bit of a a bit of um, a road there say something like that and then we'll kind of twist it around there yep 
yes exactly like that okay and that could even continue up the hill over here it is pretty good like that what it could also do it could give us a smaller little um, a, a few other roads in here maybe let's grab something now we can't go really smaller but what I'm interested in is let's do um, a nice little maybe even a little grass media and a boulevard thing over here so if we say for instance something like that so hang on hang on hang on let's let's try it a little deeper oh yeah something like that maybe that yeah that could work absolutely that could work now this is going to be yeah, let's do this so let's uh get our areas are these areas been named no this area has not been named yet um so let's let's give this an area i'm kind of tempted to make it a little bigger a suburb shouldn't be too small okay there's a bit of an area in there kent heights uh, it's more of a valley but I don't want to call everything valley so let's just call it um, let's call it Kent Rapids it looks like that could be pretty good Kent Rapids over here and that area is going to have some sort of commercial specialization maybe this leisure um, leisure the leisure specialization is gonna go in there so any of oh and I think those guys over there are gonna tweak yeah they're gonna change anyway let's uh let's make sure to get some of that in here see how that goes put it all the way up there actually we can remove that little one there we'll tweak this in there a bit we'll give a little nice cluster there we'll do similarly on this side oh we need to put some water connections in here which we will do shortly Okay, as a starting point, that's not too bad. Let's grab the water connection. Okay, but we're also gonna have to run it alongside there. I think that's gonna be about appropriate. Um, okay, the other thing is, so we've got some of these other little park thingies, right? Yes, some of this stuff. What do we have over here that we can put in there? Jet ski rental, marina, uh, a restaurant pier is gonna, oh man, look at that. That's not gonna work. We need something smaller, that's too big. That looks a little bit better. The marinas, the jet ski rental, anything else? Hmm. The restaurant was really cool, but, but, but it's not gonna, I don't feel like it's gonna work here, is it? it's all the way on the other side of the river yeah so that's not really going to work we'll have to get something else in there let's do a other a different type of little park arrangement in there a dog park maybe that's too big what is this a floating cafe wow look that's way out <laughs> uh we need something much much smaller i want a small little park section anything wow the assets are they're so limited assets are so limited okay so we're not going to put something in there so what we'll do is we'll just um, put our own little um, piece over there so we'll get something um, of, of value over here so let's get a, another type of park or something in here maybe a little is there something nearby though that's causing oh it's obviously this um, so maybe let's yeah I don't know I don't know let's not let's not let's not uh, muddy the waters with that right now okay so we get that one out there something like this something like that okay so now this area can can go on and expand a little bit and again we need some more um, residential growth so we can actually go ahead and expand this area a little bit that can work this will become a problem at some point I can imagine but it's working pretty nicely to do um, these little suburb neighborhood thingies um, so let's continue to expand that and that 
and we'll even have to transition from the one to the other at some point okay good stuff how's our slightly higher higher density going on over here working but not not well thing to know that is if we expand our city this way we will need to get the rail to do a little something so we do need to figure out how we're going to do that at some point okay let's just get the water connected over here but yeah we typically just need to expand as much as possible so that we grow okay and this area could become quite busy actually we can add an extra little piece over here A little something like that and we could run this one out that way and we can have a nice blocky block like place going on here something like that oh man look at that Ooh. yeah that that's not too bad that's actually pretty good pretty good little layout there and then what we'll do is we will tie that in over there and we will go ahead and we will make sure this is also um, nice and slow excellent so the area is expanding pretty nicely um, what we could also do is find ourselves with a little bit of a I don't know how will that work a little something like that yeah, so you can get up there. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Excellent. So this Kent Rapids area is rapidly evolving. Um, let's just see. Okay, yeah, this is the entire extent of it. Let's just uh, expand it so that it reaches all the way over there. Excellent. So that is, that will be Kent Rapids over here. Nice. Okay, so we'll continue to fill that one in. Um something like that something like that okay how are we doing with um oops did i mess something up no it's okay um, how are we doing with schooling and things like that so let's quickly have a look and see the schooling piece okay so we have just about enough of that but we don't have a university and that's something that we still need a few more people for before we can get there but we can at the very least start including a little bit more schooling in here so maybe a little elementary school over there i think it's a pretty good spot for us and we probably need to have a bit of a look oh we've got our police station over there how's our medical doing oh we probably need to do a little bit of this so let's um let's grab this area over here for 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 this for the um for the crematorium and how's our do we have anything a yoga garden does this look like the kind of place for a yoga garden i actually like it over there but maybe up here instead oh we're running out of water so we need to have a look at that also and this is getting pretty busy that is working pretty well let's quickly have a look at what's going on with our water no oh i just never actually did it so these guys have been without water for quite some time okay so that should be fine now we need to extend the water to these guys over here a little something like that what we'll do is we'll extend that through there and we'll need a little bit of water to come in over there perfect so now they can go ahead and fully develop I'm gonna do this area next to the main road here with a little bit more um, of this a little bit more commercial alternatively this could actually be actually what I'm gonna do instead I'm not gonna do this commercial I'm gonna make this a little business park we're gonna go with um, with the office and we're going to do a small little business park over here and that'll start driving the need for more education we need to do that 
in order to get there. Um, this road ultimately could become a bit more of a commercial street. So we'll do that. There we go. So we'll see how that fills in. This little section here can be commercial though. Perfect, that's gonna be awesome. Right over there. Oh, I wanted to have a look at how our medical looks like. So yeah, we don't have um, a clinic out on this side. So I'm pretty tempted to do, do a little something, maybe on this, on this road here. We'll do a clinic over there. Get everybody pretty happy. Okay, now what we also need to do is we need to continue our expansion of our bus lines. So we'll, we'll do that. Okay, bus lines. Let's see what we have. Okay, so this area is unserved completely and it probably is in need of something that goes somewhere beyond this. Hmm. So we kind of need, ooh, this is a bit of a tough one. How do we actually tie in with some of the other stuff? Unless we tie it in with this little cluster over here so that they can jump onto the other line. I think for now, that's probably gonna be our best bet. Okay, so let's see about that. Buses. Okay, let's go ahead. So we are gonna go ahead and tie in with these two over here, or just with one of them, potentially. Okay. Okay, so let's see, we need to get the rapids connected. Uh, we could have the bus go all the way there and then start running in here. So a little something like this, then maybe a little stop over there. Ooh, we're on the wrong side, hang on. I wanted to actually, let's uh, pop in here, come in there, then we'll have a little stop over here, then we'll have a little stop somewhere over there, then we'll come up here somewhere with a stop, then we'll go down here, maybe all the way to the edge here. Yeah, I think that's okay. Then we'll do a final stop over here on the way out. We will stop over there. Right, is that the right spot for us to stop or shall we come around this way? Yeah, let's come around this way and stop over here and then we'll do it all the way this way. Nice. Okay, so we've got a bit of a bus going on over there. Let's have a look, what's this? This is the Kent Rapids line. Okay, let's make this a different color. Let's like, like a dark blue over there. Kent loop. There we go. Nice. So the Kent loop is now ready for action. So that should provide us with a little bit of stuff. There's also a stop over here, the first stop from there. So once you join the bus over there, you can get it. So what we don't have, oh, this area is filling out quite nicely, but what we don't really have is we don't have the ability to, um, yeah, at the moment we don't have, what was I saying? <laughs> we don't have a proper interchange. That's that's what I was trying to say. We don't have a proper interchange. Okay, let's um, continue the, the uh, densification of this area over here. So let's grab some more of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all of that and we will densify over there. We will densify in here, we will densify in there, and we will densify, oof, maybe not like that. Let's just do it like so. That's not gonna work. Oof, I hate those little shapes there. So we did some densification of the commercial over here. Hopefully that'll work. Um, Kent Rapids over here is, um, is growing nicely. We are providing a lot of the needs. Uh, people are complaining about not enough workers, I believe. One over-educated worker. So we need to start slowly um, increasing the education required in these places. So that's why we're starting to bring offices and so on to the mix. This area is working nicely. This is getting pretty busy over here. I believe we may have to sort out maybe just a little bit of a signal over here to sort that. There is a signal. 
but we may have to tweak that signal a little bit to make that easier we could also widen um, the various um, approaches so that there's a few more lanes there and that's something that I'll I'll look into because this area is quite busy I'm not too sure whether we should also potentially look at uh, another bridge crossing somewhere over here as we expand on this side okay let's continue along the river that's a uh, fairly typical is for things to continue along the niceties so i'll do a bit of a main road over here that could potentially i think we should allow this road for future expansion okay and we can tie into to something over here so this road will definitely need to be um, something bigger in the future Uh, while it uh, continues to do a little bit of that so let's uh, let's continue to to make nice over here will that kind of work it works quite well okay now let's see we need to find ourselves a few spots where we can tie together these two roads excellent something like that is pretty good Hmm. Now, I am thinking what we can do is one of these. Oof, it's not the greatest, actually, in terms of spacing. Would would not? It's not. It's not the greatest. Maybe if we do this, whoo, then definitely not. They're definitely not appropriate. <clears throat> the middle of the line is probably about the best one and I think it may be time to do a little something like that over here so let's just expand that a little we could we could tweak it tweak it around this a little bit something like that and then we tie it in yeah actually that would that would work pretty well so let's do that something like that how about that that's pretty decent actually nice little shapes okay so let's uh, get the water in here first okay there is a pretty decent water connection and we'll do similarly on that side and we'll link it up over there so there's a fair bit of water in there now let's continue to expand this let's do it from that side yes that's what we want to do expand that over there we don't do that one excellent so that's a further expansion happening this section will need a little bit of help too at some point in terms of bus connections and other further amenities okay um what else do we need and what else do we need to expand to we do need to get ourselves to a bit more high tech guys so, okay what i'm thinking let's uh let's let's look at this let's look at the expansion of our first proper business center um this is kind of the no we can't do that we need to expand along here so let's do that let's go ahead and expand this area so this area is going to uh, we're going to trim we're going to rezone this area here so that's typically what happens it's not just expansion it's a rezoning of this area to provide um, some more office space okay so this area is now and we'll extend the rezoning into that section over there okay so with that in mind we don't oops we didn't want to do that here we go so there's more office space is now going up on this side and then at the same time the density of the commercial is going to change on the other side okay so commercial density is changing And that means this road will get busier and busier like so and like so nothing in there we'll rezone this area 
high density okay look at that okay we are going to need to expand our operations a little bit what is going on this line is fully full okay let's look at line let's pause line details um, can I add a number of vehicles yes let's add a few more vehicles thank you oh, and the other one as well line details a few more vehicles I'll do that one as well perfect because there are some busy stops around here what's going on with this one this one seems to be okay maybe we'll add one extra vehicle to that excellent and now everybody is growing things are happening our offices are popping up over here um, the little pedestrian bridge in the heart of town is growing let's see about this side yeah this is pretty good I want to go ahead and oh and remove that and add this I want to make sure that we continue to increase the density in town that something like this excellent so we're continuously adding our density here so this area is getting getting much denser now some offices around this residential area here is getting nice density <clears throat> and I'm also thinking maybe that's a good time for us to do the increased density on the back over here these ones because they're smaller blocks they might not be such big developments but yeah that could could open up some nice density on that side for us over there nice and continue to feed our demand okay how's our little town developing over here pretty good actually uh, but we're still having some um, in, some struggles some struggles over here so let's uh, let's see what we can do over here I want to um maybe go for these uh these asymmetrical sections so if i go ahead and do that and if we do that oops other way yes that's what we want to do and even that one like so so we've got a few asymmetrical sections in there just so that there's a a little bit more um, capacity at the junction itself for the various moves and what we'll do is we will have to tweak things a little bit over here so there's two things I want to do let's quickly add um, one of these short little sections over here okay and I'm gonna use move it now so so bear with me That might be a little bit too far away let's uh, let's try and let's try and find a little spot there yeah let's just do this and that okay and then we'll turn it around okay and then we we'll go ahead and grab move it to do a little something like that wow that's a little little high let's uh let's page that down a little bit so it's a little bit more in line with how the um how the road would work so that's pretty good now i just want to tweak this a little bit okay so you're not turning that way over here you are you are going left and you are going through i think that's that's kind of what it's going to be like okay that's okay uh, we are going to need to put some restrictions in place here so I don't want any of that or any of that I want to make sure that you can fill file through all the way there similarly over here I don't want any of this or any of that we want to make sure that all of this is appropriate that's good <clears throat> so that'll work um, I want to have a look at what our um, set up here is going to be like so that's kind of what that's going to look like um, I want to make sure over here that you are only uh, yeah that's fine and over here I want one that does this and the other two that does that it's probably right 
over here I want to make sure that we've got one that does this and one that does that um, oops over here we've done that and let's just quickly tweak this one I want to separate the right turns out as much as possible so that is kind of how we we're gonna look at it okay so let's see how that operates for a minute so that is helping us a lot by getting a lot of traffic out of the intersection over there what we do need to make sure is that we yeah that's we're just getting a few guys to, to figure things out a little bit so why are you waiting what's happening Oh, it's just, uh, it's just basically, it's a lot of pedestrians. Okay, so one of the things that we're going to need to do with the pedestrians is I think we're going to need to access the park over here somewhere. So if we go to the park, um, actually, let's, uh, I'm going to, what's going on? I'm going to get rid of that, okay, and I'll extend the park over here, but let's get the park, the nature reserve, little road with the lights uh, and what we'll do is we'll it'll go along that edge there okay so now I just need to oof, park let's grab the park if I can ah oh, there it is okay so give me the small one we are going to extend the park all the way to there Okay, so something like that, the Kent Nature, Kent Nature Reserve. And then this is Kent Rapids, nice, I like it. Um, okay, so now I want a little park gate over here, so a side gate, Nature Reserve side gate. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to get rid of one of those. And what we'll do is we will tie that in over there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set back that a little bit, so we're not gonna have that directly in there and now we'll probably need to make a plan with that but now at least there's an activity uh, a crossing where people can actually walk straight through the nature reserve from this area to that area um, the other thing that i'm kind of tempted to do so we need to try and yeah okay this is getting a little better but there's a lot of stuff happening over here and they're struggling to get people through there um yeah, that is becoming a bit of an issue. But the rest have been sorted out pretty nicely over here. Wow, can I just tweak that a little bit? Because that's kind of killing things a little bit over here. If we do a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Excellent. That's looking a little bit better at the intersection. Hopefully that helps us out a little. So the only thing that's not working at the moment is we still need to find, uh, well, we need to redo these signals over here and provide a safe haven for the, well, we need provide a way for these cars turning right to actually get through there. Um, do we have the appropriate restrictions on? Hang on. Uh, what I'll do is I will do that. Ooh, we have a banned right turn. That's pretty good. I didn't know we can. I didn't know that was a thing. And we'll do all of those and see if that works a little bit better. Yeah, it gets a few more vehicles around the corner. But we need to uh, do a signal timing thing over there. Excellent. Okay, so now uh, we're starting to get this to work. The other thing we could also do is provide a little slip off over here. I want to do a, a right in, right out over here. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to do that. So let's pause it so it doesn't get too clunky um, so let me grab do that um, I'm gonna take out the signal okay and we are going to uh, you're gonna be a oh no that's okay I'm looking at that side please you are not gonna be able to do oh, hang on through and the right perfect okay this one yes so no left turns here. Okay, you, no left turns over there. You can in fact do that. Okay, that's okay. So hopefully that means that that'll stop that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is 
we're gonna go oops no see not that one that's not what i want i want to do that so this continues to flow at the same time i want to put some restrictions on here um trying to not do that though everywhere but that's okay hopefully that does the trick right there okay so hopefully that allows people to not have to turn that right but they can turn the right over here excellent so now now i think that will resolve a lot of these issues by letting these guys just turn straight into this development instead of having to go all the way over there and we're not allowing these guys to turn over there so this is a nice unsignalized setup that we've got improving that se se section over there with limited resources spent um, oh, the other thing I wanted to do, I just need to make sure that we put that very similar restriction over here to allow that. Oh, there's a bus that's now coming out of this. Interesting. So the bus routes have tweaked a little bit based on this. Let's quickly have a look at how that did in fact go. So instead of the, doing that, no, you cannot do that. Oh my goodness. Hang on, hang on. There's a, there's a crazy thing going on over here no left turn okay absolutely no left turn there excellent we've managed to clear that off without doing any fancy upgrades over here it was just a very basic setup right there excellent now that goes on to live another day and we're out of power What's going on with our power situation power we're quite frankly not producing enough so we'll have to go ahead and switch on the coal power plant over here um, and at the same time we'll go and switch off all of these guys so we save a little bit of cash on that so we're going from sustainable to not sustainable at all well from fairly sustainable to not sustainable at all I wouldn't presume to think we're actually really being sustainable here. Uh, okay, so shall we expand the farm? I think the farm is kind of, at some point this farm will have to go and we'll have to make room for the city's expansion. So I don't want to expand the farm over here. What might happen is we might move the farm. Um, so what happens with, what's going on with the power? We still have the block, blackouts. Coal plant turns coal into electricity and it is working. Okay, well, excellent. So then let's continue to switch on these extras. Maybe we uh, need all of them. Rolling blackouts. Okay. That's okay. So this is okay. We probably need to think about the expansion of a little bridge over here somewhere to kind of connect these two places up. So let's continue the uh, development applications over here. That's how, uh, how they would be termed as in, in a normal city, some development applications. So let's see something like this, then something like that maybe. Okay, so if we do that, and now we say, guys, we're gonna go with, with the bridge over there. Yeah, that's not too bad. It actually works really well in that specific location. So now we've got a bit of a bridge crossing over here. Um, and we probably need to tie this road in. Probably just straight in there is fine. nice and the continuous expansion over here will continue to allow connectivity between this side and that side of the bridge this is clearly our main our main one our main access point these two are all both pretty busy looking good looking good okay we still need to expand even more okay uh, and what i think we need to do is find a spot close to here where we're going to go and go high density residential so i think that is where we're at at the moment so we've already started that over there this stretch over here is going to become high density residential okay all the way through there all of that is becoming high density residential 
and even this little slither on this side. So now we'll have a little bit more density here and things will start to become busier. Okay, we've got about five more minutes left of uh, of, uh, of City Skylines and then I'm going to switch over to Airport CEO for those of you who are, are keen on that. Excellent. Okay, now, how are we going to continue this expansion? I am tempted that we upgrade this road and make sure that we are providing this road yes absolutely appropriately upgraded so that it can become something bigger uh, so both of these things will need to be moved a little bit for that to happen so what I'll do is I will put that one over there and I'll put this one over here I'll move them back um, and I know that's not how it works in a real city so we'll expand that situation going to move that to switch it back in there and I'm going to move this one to switch it back in there nice so we've got a the green green avenue that's pretty good so green avenue over here is going to be the primary um, arterial out this way that one we won't be able to upgrade so that's typical for how cities develop they have um, big roads that lead out to the newer areas and then as they get into town they're smaller and smaller or narrower and narrower they still try and maintain the same um, kind of category of roads so they still try and maintain a mater uh, arterial but they are typically smaller and smaller okay our high density section over here is looking good it's expanding quite nicely and we're seeing a fair bit more people we are getting to a point where we can start slowly start thinking about things like universities let's see where else we can densify a little bit so we've densified the back over there um, I'm tempted to leave the front as it is let's densify the back over here also okay so let's let's trim all of this and we'll densify so the development application goes in for nice big developments and they get approved okay okay a little something like this maybe good so there's a bit more densification over there um, even this little sl slither at the back here pretty good to densify and a little extra spot over there so now we're slowly starting to see how this is becoming the center of the city that is is getting all the density <clears throat> and it'll also be the place where most of the problems happen okay look at this our the work we did over here is now making this area work very nicely no problems we can still improve that even more that's working well um, this section should also become busy but is working well at the moment a lot of people making that turn to come to this area and this area hasn't been named yet actually so let's uh, let's get ourselves a little bit of an area here okay it's Robin Square that's not great that's not great so if you have any suggestions as to what robin square should be renamed to as a suburb please let me know okay so guys i think that's where we're going to call an end to the city skylines now we are continuing the expansion of this real city pretty well um there's a lot happening um but it's maybe also slow growth at the moment uh we do once we get to critical mass uh and we do provide need us need some what is it let's go to education once we find how many workers we have okay oh, highly educated workers yeah so once we find out what we kind of need and that there's a so there's a 
a lot of eligible and we have no capacity for university at the moment and it's probably about time for another high school as well is this uh, road getting a little bit of traffic yeah a little bit there's people actually walking across so it's probably a good idea we provide another little pedestrian bridge to cross over somewhere over here but yeah guys that's where i'm going to put the end of this so i will be right back and we will continue with airport ceo see you soon